it to us here, and we can see it behind you. Radar. Rain's moving in or moving yes. out or something. Yeah, it's out there. <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually working its way northeast, guys. So this is actually going to be a radar picture that starts to get a little bit quieter in the next few hours, but then it's going to pick back up again, which we'll explain. But yeah, right now, you're most confined with the showers in the northwest half of our area. So even here in Philly, having been on the sky deck a number of times already, I felt a sprinkle, but that was really it. The bulk of the precip is now, actually, at this point, more of a North Jersey concern. So if you're traveling 78, maybe you're one of those New York commuters, you'll still have wet weather to contend with there. And we do have some reports of the rain right now as well in some of the major arteries around the city as well. But this isn't a drenching rain. This is not a flood producing kind of rain like we had earlier this week. And even though there may still be a few scattered showers as the day goes on, it's all very light in nature. Off to the west, though, there's really not much to show you. And that's because high pressure is building in. And that's always a good thing, right? So take a look at future weather in the next couple of hours. Things do quiet down. Great to cloudy skies into the rest of the morning here, but by this point, the wind is also picking up and then we hit the second half of the day and some additional showers work their way through light to moderate once more in intensity. So it's not the worst idea to keep your umbrella on hand, but this is all scattered and very light in nature. Uh, so it's kind of your call on a day like this, whether you want to take the umbrella or not, also based on when you plan to be outside. But looking forward to tonight, things do start to quiet back down again. Now, the Phillies are going to play. It's That's definitely not an issue. Could there be a stray sprinkle around? There could be. But generally speaking, things will be clearing up as the day, the uh, evening progresses. But I'd certainly advise the heavier coat. Not only is it cooler at only 45 at first pitch, but it's also windy by this point, too. So it's going to be a cold night at the ballpark. But looking forward in the eyewitness weather, seven-day cold. This day actually comes tomorrow, although the sun is back. And a slow climb on the thermometer is in the cards through Monday. Michelle.